I'm going to show you how to make an aromatic chicken curry using a homemade garam masala made out of whole spices. And here are my spices. I've got some whole black pepper, bay leaves, cassia bark, coriander seeds, green cardamoms, cumin seeds, and some cloves. So first off, I'm going to heat my pan, and I have no oil in the pan. Now it's on a medium heat, you don't want it too high. I'm just going to add all my spices. Black peppercorns. Some bay leaves. A few green cardamoms. Cumin seeds. Some coriander seeds. A few cloves. and some casia bark or dalcini. I'm just breaking up the casia bark. So toast that for a couple of minutes and make sure the spices don't burn. And if they do, you just have to start again. Now, once you smell the aromas, they're ready for grinding. Yeah, I can smell them. So I'm gonna turn off the heat and leave them to cool. And once they've cooled, they become nice and crispy and crunchy and easier to grind. And I'm going to use a pestle and mortar for this. Now, if you haven't got a pestle and mortar, but a coffee mill, you can grind your spices in that. But make sure you clean your coffee mill thoroughly afterwards because your coffee beans will smell of spices. So after you've spent a couple of minutes grinding your spices, it should look like this. And now I'm going to sieve it. Now you can get a ready-made ground garam masala from Raja if you don't have time to make this yourself. Now if there are some whole spices in your sieve, you can put them back in the pestle and mortar and grind them again or just discard them. And you can store this blend for about six months in an airtight container away from moisture and sunlight. And now I'm going to use this for my aromatic chicken curry. I'm going to heat my pan up and I'm going to add my oil into the hot pan. Add your chicken pieces. And fry this for about five to seven minutes until the chicken turns white. The chicken's turned white and I'm going to transfer this into a bowl. I've kept most of the oil in the pan because I'm going to use it to fry my onions. Pop some green chilies in here as well. And give that a mix. And you can fry this mixture for about five to seven minutes until the onions turn golden brown. The onions are nice and brown. Now I'm going to add my spices some ground coriander, ground jeera or ground cumin, turmeric, and a bit of chili powder. Give that another mix and then add your ginger. Some garlic. Mix that thoroughly and then add some tomato puree. Return the chicken to the pan. Stir that for a couple of minutes and then add about a cup of water. Let it simmer for about three minutes until your sauce is nice and thick. I finally add my garam masala, just a sprinkling.
a few coriander leaves for garnish. And my aromatic chicken curry is ready.